So I have There's No Place Like Home, Not My Tempo, and The Reverse. I'm just a girl standing in front of a boy asking him to love her. If you want something, go get it. And somehow this card got mixed up with that other deck. I said yes, which turned out to be the right answer. <laughs> so, um, don't get mad, y'all. Um, <clears throat> this could be somebody that you were in a relationship with and you were not on the same page. So maybe you lived with someone before and it didn't work out and this person wants you to come back home. Um, that is strongly um, the first scenario I'm getting. And this person wants to come and get it. <laughs> and you're going to say yes. <clears throat> That's one scenario. The other scenario is you are going to be going home and moving in with somebody um, but maybe you're not sure if you're on the same page with them, but you're going to take the risk and go for it. And the, the right answer is going to be yes, it's going to work out for you. I feel like with the not my tempo, you either were on the same page as someone else as like living together before <clears throat> or being under the same roof. You may still be unsure or hesitant. But um, this is something that uh, you really want. And if you say yes, it's going to be the right answer for you. It's going to work out for you and it's going to have a positive outcome. So I'm being guided to say take the leap of faith. Take the leap of faith. You may be scared. You may be still, you know, a little questionable. Uh, but someone's getting ready. And someone's trying to be creative in how they come towards you. These came out sideways. So someone's getting ready. They're polishing their shoes, cleaning up the house. Um, you, ha you could have your guard up. Um, you could have a decision to make. This person's questioning on whether or not you're going to say yes. You are being seen as an artist. Um, you're creative, um, like decorating a cake. Um, whatever you do, you do it well. And someone could be admiring you and watching you. Maybe you feel like if you live with another person, you won't be able to be as creative or as, you know, if you were on your own. But I'm telling you, take the leap of faith. You can still have your own space. You know, get yourself a, a woman cave or, you know, set up a room that's like, you know, your version of the man cave, whatever. Um, or if you're a man, get, get yourself a little man cave. Whatever it is you're working on, if you're an artist or if you're, you do something with spirituality, there's always a small area. Look at me. I have like a little corner of the house here. <laughs> Behind this area is like my junk pile of like, you know, just stuff. Um, <clears throat> storage stuff. Um, but, you know, it doesn't matter. You can still have a safe space. So, somebody did not travel towards another person. Um, yeah. Somebody waited too long to travel towards somebody, okay, for one situation. So, this is a good thing that's coming up for you. But in this situation, there's also somebody else who's having deep regret, okay? Because we have someone who did not travel towards you. Um, this would have been a sticky situation, like it would have been too hard to open that door. So in a different situation for the same person, it's like you, you have a choice with the crossroads here. It's like you had someone who didn't travel towards you. Um, they could have caught something, which is possibly why they had a hard time coming towards you. This could have been somebody who caught like an STD or, um, you know, something like that. And they were crying. So somebody couldn't come towards you for whatever reason, this other energy. But there's somebody who does want to be with you, who does want to live with you. Whether you've lived with this person in the past or not, if you say yes, it will be the right answer. I cannot say the same for these who came out in the reversal. Like I said, there's two different situations going on here. So you can get mad if you want. For some of you, this is a good thing. For some of you, um, it would be a really bad idea. Okay. So, I mean, or you could just have a choice between, you know, the dark and the light and, you know, make the right choice. Um, you all have free will, but just be careful about what choice you make. But for some of you, I mean, if, as long as this person, like, hasn't hurt you or something in the past, um, you know, maybe you weren't on the same page before, or maybe you lived with this person in the past, and you did get along, like, as far as living together, that wasn't the bad part. Maybe you were just toxic for each other at the time. That could be a thing. 
So keep that in mind. But for somebody else, um, <clears throat> they didn't come towards you because they couldn't. It was a sticky situation. <laughs> I'm getting sticky discharge. I don't want to fucking go there and I'm not getting any deeper into that. Uh, but anyway, this person was crying because they have nasty sticky discharge. They caught something and um, so they missed the boat. But you have someone else here who's um, your yes man and this or woman and this is going to be the right answer. This is what you've been manifesting. Tell the universe exactly what you want. You know, that song, um, Two Princes, is coming up, but, you know, one has a sticky discharge, so... <laughs> oh, yuck. I told you I'm not going there. I am not going there. I am not. I am not. I'm not. I don't want to know any more about that. That's all I'm... Mm -mm. That door is sticky anyway. Uh... <laughs> all right, nothing else is coming out of there. Yeah, but if you take a chance with this new person, um, or someone that you have lived with in the past, but maybe, you know, it just didn't, wasn't the right time, um, you could feel like you're uninspired, or someone feels like they're uninspired, or you feel like maybe, um, I feel like you think that there's going to be like a lack of creativity or something if you go for this person. Um, this other karmic energy was definitely uninspirational. If anything, um, they made you run screaming for the hills, whoever that person was. You know, and not every part of the message is for everybody. Um, because we have someone who is just, like, consumed. Um, with consume, I get, like, devour, consume, like... I don't I, I feel like that's obsessive. I feel like something's obsessive. Someone is obsessed with like uninspiring you and getting you off of your path. And I think that's what happened in the past. So maybe that's why you're okay. So th that's why you could be a little hesitant. All right, now, um, now I'm getting what you're dropping. All right. So something happened to you in the past with something, somebody else who did not inspire you, they were all consuming, it's like they were an energy drainer, they just sucked everything out of you, they sucked the life out of you, um, and they were trying to get you off of your path, they didn't want you to be on your path to begin with, so that could be why you're hesitant about this other person, they didn't protect you, this past person didn't protect you, so they left you wondering, they left you scared, I don't care if you say you healed or not, they left you in a state where you're not in a hurry to go jump into um, anything else with somebody else. So it's like you're holding yourself back because you're thinking about what happened in the past. Even though you healed from the heartbreak, and yes, you can still be, um, you know, healed and be cautious about moving forward in a situation. So let's not twist my words. Somebody in the past didn't protect you. They're an all-consuming fire, obsessive, very codependent, like, I need all of your attention, and if I don't get it, I'm going to make your life a living hell kind of person. This new person, they're going to let you be as creative as you want to be. They're even getting a space ready for you to do this. I feel like it. I feel like someone's preparing a special space in the home just for you, and they're never going to tell you you can't do it not to do it in fact they're going to encourage you to do it because they see how beneficial and helpful it is for you to be so self-expressive you could do something with sculpture like with clay um you could be a painter um you could be a card reader um you could you know be on tiktok you could do like the reiki healing energy healing whatever you do it doesn't matter um you could paint with watercolors it doesn't fucking matter you could sit there with an adult coloring book and that's what is healing for you and it helps you every single day of your life whatever it is you do it helps heal you and somebody sees that and they appreciate they appreciate so much what you do and how you do it because they see how you inspire other people and you're actually inspiring them so this person this new person wants to give you a space where you can heal and they see how beneficial it is and they've seen you go through some sort of transformation or change um because of whatever this is that you're doing and they love you all the more for it this person is not going to do to you what the the past person did this is like past meets the future past meets present do not let somebody else screw up for you what it looks like a very beautiful it's like your manifestation it's like this is what you wanted this is what the you told the universe you said you wanted and it's right here don't fuck it up I'm the universe says don't fuck this up <laughs> don't 
<laughs> don't fuck this up. This new person is going to love you um, unconditionally. They're not going to ever tell you you can't do something. They're not going to try to control you. They're going to let you be you. And in return, they expect the same kindness. So if someone, you know, is willing to let you be you and not control you or dominate you or micromanage you, offer them the same kindness, okay? You are so lucky. You are so lucky. The universe is giving you this gift. This gift of your Ten of Cups. Okay? Luck is on your side. The universe is giving you the gift, your Ten of Cups, a positive outcome, and a celebration, a party, a get-together. You could be, I'm hearing a home welcoming party or a homecoming party, something like that. Um, so, like, when you get this new place, whether it's moving in with your counterpart or maybe you're buying a new home together, something like that. <clears throat> Although I feel like there's a masculine energy that already has a space or a feminine energy that already has a space and you're moving in with them and they're creating a space for you already. Although you could be purchasing a new home, you know, just take it how it resonates, but the universe wants to bless you with this. And I'm just hearing, don't fuck this up. Don't you dare fuck this up. This is exactly what you've been asking for. So quit being a, mm. yeah, you've been manifesting this. What you've been manifesting is right here. Go with the flow. Let, just, just relax, take a deep breath, chill, just live life, get out of survival mode. Don't you think it's time for all of us to be able to take a deep breath and just relax and let, you know, be blessed, you know, let, let God, let the universe, let divine shower us with what we've been asking for, Empress. <laughs> This past person who affected you in such a negative way is not moving on to calmer waters. They've hit the troubled waters that they expected for you. You're very gifted. You're very talented with the Eight of Pentacles, and it has the ability to bring you finances. This new person is going to give you the space in your home to do exactly that, to be creative. You could be a cake decorator. You could be a chef. Whatever it is you do. You do it very well, and it's very calming and peaceful for you. Like I said, it doesn't even matter if it's just painting watercolors or oil painting, something like that. You are a true leader or boss, whatever you do. Whatever you do, you do it well. And you're caring and compassionate, and you have a lot of love and caring. You're a very compassionate, loving person. With the Empress in the Upright and the Queen of Wands, you're just a natural-born leader. And that's why someone is watching you, spying on you. Um, I feel like it's not in a bad way, though. It's this person who wants to make you this offer to come towards you. This past person, the person from the past, caused you a lot of heartbreak and tried to stop your finances. They, they tried to stop your ability to make money. They tried to stop your creativity. And especially if you do anything like this with card reading or anything, that's because you flip over the cards and they they tell you that this person's cheating on you and they're getting ready, getting all smelling good to head out for the night. <laughs> yeah. Your past person didn't want you doing this um, or whatever it was you did. And I'm using this as an example. Your past person tried to stop you from doing shit because they didn't want you to find out the truth about what they were doing, what they were up to. You know, maybe you asked too many questions. If you were a card reader or something, your cards was telling on this person for whatever they were doing. I'm just using that as an example. But your past person um, placed heavy burdens on you that were unnecessary. And this was to stop you from moving forward with your dreams and talents. I get that this person was very jealous of you as well. So they tried to affect your confidence. But this new person... Yeah, they tried to stop you from having a new beginning. This past person put you in a competition and that could scare you. That past person could have affected you in a way where you're kind of afraid to take the leap of faith with somebody else because you're afraid that you're going to end up in the same situation again. That's not the case. You're going to be the queen of pentacles, um, or you are the queen of pentacles. It's like you are moving from the queen of wands up to the queen of pentacles. Like you're, you're the jack of, I mean, you're a boss lady. I mean, you could be working towards owning your own business and you may have started out somewhere like, say, the corner of a house or a garage, basement, whatever, but you're working on building your own business, that old cycle is over and done with. You can rest easy with the Four of Swords without having to worry about someone trying to stab you in the back. 
this person is going to communicate something. There's going to be some sort of celebration, communication of celebration, um, a get together, dance, happiness. This person can want to take you on a date. It's like they just want to be carefree with you. I'm hearing, I want to dance with you, baby, all night long. I want to dance the night away. Uh, I can't remember who sings that. I know that song. I, I used to love that song. I want to be bop with you, baby. Oh, no. Nah. Yeah. So whoever you were with in the past, they were evil. They were the star in the reverse. So they were evil, sadistic. Damn, the queen of cups, F5. <laughs> I have pulled three queens out of the deck. You are everything. This person wants to lock your ass down. How could they not want to lock you down? I told you, you're loving, caring. You're the true boss. You're like everything to this person. And they want to... Uh, you were with a dark priest or priestess in the reverse. You were with, like, Satan themselves, you know, the devil in disguise, in the words of Elvis. Um, man, this past person really put you through the ringer, but that's not what this person is going to do to you. This person's going to love the shit out of you. Let them love you. Let me love you. Let me love you. It's like you feel like this person may be trying to suffocate you or something. This person's not going to suffocate you. They're going to let you be you. Somebody wants to dance with you. So there was a decision made in the past to lay something to rest. Um, you knew that you were not going to be able to move on to calmer waters with this past person. <clears throat> and since you laid something to rest with this past person, their life has been... Sorry, I heard a noise. My dog's, like, playing with something, and I don't know what the hell that is. It doesn't sound like the normal ball. You're being set free. You're liberated. You're not, you're not going to go into more troubled waters. You learned your lesson. You broke the cycle. This past person didn't make you the offer that you had been waiting for. They traveled and gave the offer to somebody else. That's why they're in a shit. They're up shit's creek without a paddle because they left you out in the cold. And you just started to focus on yourself with the seven of pentacles and started focusing on your money and doing you. So do you, but you can do it with somebody else as well with a new person, even if you're not expecting this. And if you want to stay single forever, then stay single forever. But the universe is saying, don't fuck this up. <laughs> There is an empress in the reverse that caused a tower moment and a king of swords that were a liar. So we have this, um, uh, and this could be a mother figure, a wife, lover figure, and then we have a lion ass king of swords. So this could be, you know, an ex-wife, ex-spouse, um, a mother figure, and your lion ass ex. Uh, but they caused a tower moment that is going to work out in your favor. They left you out in the cold, they left you with nothing, they left you for dead. They thought that nobody would show up to take care of you. And I'm hearing, ta-da! Not only can you take care of yourself, but somebody actually wants to take care of you um, <clears throat> in a good way. <clears throat> Confirmation. Wow. <clears throat> somebody doesn't want me to say that. You healed from the past heartbreak. You hid. You You hid. You healed from the people that were hiding secrets from you. Whether you found out the truth about them or not, you healed from them. You are in your life's calling, and this has somebody in despair. Because these people wanted you to hide who you truly were. They wanted you to hide. They didn't want you to heal. You could, you're a healer. You're a healer. With these cards coming out like this, you're a healer. You're in your life's calling. You do healing work. You're a light worker. This has someone in despair that they couldn't keep this secret hidden. They didn't want anyone to know this about you. This lion-ass king of swords and this lion-ass empress bitch. Whoever these people are to you, they didn't want anyone to know who you are. That's why they sent all this conflict your way. So that no one would um, see who you are. It's like they wanted to keep you so busy fighting battles and conflict that... Um, you wouldn't have time to work on your gifts or talents or let the world see who you are. But all the conflict that these people sent your way just elevated you up higher and faster. You know, if they didn't want the communities to see you, then you ended up on 
YouTube, like me, ta -da! and now, like, you're seeing all over the world, so, <laughs> suck it, bitches, <laughs> you know, <laughs> things have a way of working out, see the silver lining, relax, it'll all be over soon, this person who wants to be with you actually has similar religious beliefs to you, um, maybe you don't go to church, maybe you're both more on your spiritual paths, or maybe you both go to church, you know, whatever it is, um, you have more similar religious beliefs than you and whoever the past person was. Um, this past person lied about someone, so, um, someone from the past lied. Somebody, um, feels like they would punch another, okay, so, wow. So, your person who wants to be with you now actually feels like they want to punch the person in the past for fucking with you and making you so hesitant. Because this person wants to lock your ass down. Like, not in a good way. Not like tie you up in the basement like the past person, the evil fuck. This is a good person. But this new person, like, wants to fight this old person for fucking with you and hurting you in such evil ways. But everything is in divine timing. This person is secretly watching you. Um, the marriage to this past person, if you were married to them, it was, like, evil. It was bad. It was, like, hell. It was, like, the fucking raptors, like, coming at you, being hunted down, and, like, stalking you and all kinds of crazy shit. Pay attention to your dreams. They're telling you something about who you're supposed to be with. <coughs> You're going to have money to burn. Your spiritual gifts, if, you, if you're a spiritual person, whatever you are, whether you use your gifts, you know, or you have other creative gifts or talents, um, you're going to have money to burn. And as soon as that money starts rolling in, this past person's going to want to come and bury the hatchet. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do this to you. Bullshit. And Aries could be significant, September could be significant, somebody did something in the last 24 to 48 hours, the Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn could be significant, there could be something significant about a Wednesday. Yeah, someone's bad to the bone. This past person could be showing back up, especially if they know you have this new beginning. Like I said, you could have a decision to make. Um, obviously, I feel like you're not going to go back to Satan himself, but, you know, everyone has free will. I also did that reading where I said someone was going to take someone on vacation to take them out, and then I had people in the comments like, I'm ready to go, I just bought my luggage and shit. And it's like, you dumbass, you just missed the whole point. Whatever. These are messages to help you. You know, not to, yeah, don't do that stupid shit. Someone's going to be eating their words. So this is, um, you know, a message of warning about that past person could be showing up as soon as they know you have this new beginning coming because they don't want you to have this new beginning. Someone from the past is going to come back and try to fuck this new beginning up for you. So keep your relationship private. This person who ripped you off is going to have to eat their words. They thought that they could come back to you or that you were waiting for them. Hell to them all. Um, this person has a bleeding heart because they ripped you off and you're not going to take them back. They burned your their bridges with you. Don't burn your bridges. It's too late for that. They created a perfect storm. Life's a bitch. The law could be involved in something. The law's watching somebody. Lay down the law in eagle eye. The law's watching somebody. So somebody is going to be in trouble. And I feel like it's your past person. You and your past person had a third party situation and they're not really missing you. They're just yanking your chain. They're still playing the field. Something significant about December and a Capricorn. This person's going to piss you off or did something to piss you off. And they judged a book by its cover. They think something's going to be easier said than done or easy as one, two, three uh, to get their 15 minutes of fame. Um, they want they want to be attached to you because maybe you're getting accolades or getting some sort of attention. Um, this person is wet behind the ears. They're green. It doesn't even matter if this person's older than you. They're not as experienced as you and they don't have the gifts that you do. And karma's a bitch. They stole shit from you and that's why the law is involved. They tried to rob you blind. They could have tried to unalive you. 
Um, and this person may have like tried to ruin it for other people. They're not going to have a clean slate. They don't get a do-over. They don't get a mulligan. Um, but you do. You know, sometimes goodbye is the second chance. Um, so... Yeah. This person wanted you to be as poor as a church mouse. And they didn't look before they leaped. They didn't think about something before they did it, especially when it came to a light worker. They thought that they were being creative enough with what they were doing, uh, but they tempted themselves with the low-hanging fruit. And we have Scorpio here, and they're not moving forward. But you, my dear, are seen as one in a million. And so this actually has this karmic um, losing their temper, losing their head, because they're not the real deal. They're not the real McCoy. Like, this past person can't compare to you. So this could be a grown-ass man trying to act like a grown-ass woman or steal their gifts or something like that, or vice versa. Um, this could be a crazy psycho bitch mother of yours that wanted your life. Um, a Taurus could be significant. There's something significant about a Taurus in October. These people are going towards their worst nightmare. If it hasn't happened yet, um, it's going to. Oh, God, I'm hearing that Blackhawk song. Um, I'm not strong enough to say no by Blackhawk. I'm hearing that song. So someone's afraid to be alone in the room with you um, because they're afraid that they'll cross the line or cross the boundaries and possibly scare you off or something. This could be somebody who's in the process of detaching from somebody else. And the communication is like non-existent um, because this and this person is also afraid to be alone with you. They're afraid they're going to cross the line in some way or scare you. They don't have to be attached to somebody else. They could be going through a divorce. They could be going through a separation or you could be and they're afraid to scare you off. But something is as dead as a doornail or someone I'm getting someone could be um, as dead as a doornail very soon. Uh, because they're in their worst nightmare because of what they did and they don't want to go to jail or prison for whatever they did. <clears throat> they were barking up the wrong tree and they have court coming up. So yeah, someone someone has some legal issues coming up and I feel like they're not going to want to face that. Um, so they may opt themselves out. Um, Monday could be significant. There could be a wolf showing up as your door, at your door. This is that sadistic ex that wants to come and kiss and make up. Um, you could be as white as a sheet when you see this person. It could actually take you by surprise. Yeah, this person's not going to be breathing a sigh of relief, but it's this blast from the past is going to come as a surprise to you. You may not expect to see them showing up at your door. Stay strapped, y'all. Stay strapped. <clears throat> this person is chomping at the bit. They're pissed off because you're going to be happy as a clam or you are happy as a clam, but this person struck out. Three strikes, you're out. All right, let's pull some letters. This past person was all talk, no action. They did nothing but cause you harm and pain. But this other person, they want to love you like there's no tomorrow. But this new person also is afraid... Um, if you've been through some sort of trauma or pain or abuse by a past lover, this person, um, they don't want to scare you. It's like they're, they don't, it's like they don't know how to love you, but they want to learn. They want to learn you. They want to learn how to love you. You. <laughs> Could be significant person, place, or thing. They choose you. Oh, you may be surprised to find out who this person is. But they want to learn you. You on? <laughs> you on? I'm hearing someone say, you on? <laughs> let's go. Let's get this started. Let's get the party started. You and I. So, yeah, there's I. You on I. Oh, yeah. Someone's thinking about getting funky. Getting jiggy with it. No, 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 no. Z could be significant. Hit you on I. <laughs> G. You and me going fishing. You and me going fishing in the dark. B. 
Zynga, Bozinga, boing. Oh, what's that? Zonk, gong, gong, the gong show. Uh, what the hell is that show? I can't remember what that's called. The dude where they have where they have the gong and the, or the zonks. I. All right, last one. Or the gong, whatever you. All right, so we have two U's, two I's. So confirmation, someone's watching you. B-O-G-Z-O-N. I hope this helps, folks. Have a good day.